Welcome back to the KB Cabinet Channel. My name is Rob, and this is uh, video number two in making this uh, Cabineo frameless uh, Euro style cabinet. And this is exactly where we left off in the first video. Um, so we're going to continue on, and in this video, we're going to take a look at um, adding in these drawer stretchers, which I kind of had some trouble doing um, on the first video. So we're going to fix that. Um, and th there's another issue that I saw that we're going to fix, um, and it has to do with the overall height of that. Um, and this line um, that you see, it's not on the edge of the cabinet like it is down here. And, and then the last thing I'm going to cover in this video is the reveals. Um, so the, the door and drawer reveals. Um, that way you keep it, this one kind of short, um, so you can kind of digest everything. All right, so let's uh, let's start with um, taking a look at the issue that I, I noticed that I had. And if we if I click this cabinet, and I'm just going to actually go in here and I'm just going to delete everything out for ease. Um, if you can see that there's this green line around the cabinet, and down at the bottom, it's exactly at the bottom of the bottom. But then we get to the top, and we can see that it actually goes beyond the top. And why that's a problem is because it's showing this cabinet at 34 and a half, right? So I have 34 and a half over here. But if I come in and I go to my reports, I can see that my uh, left and right end are only 33 and three quarters. So I'm losing three quarters of an inch on that cabinet. And so that's why uh, that's that's an issue there. So let's go ahead and fix that first. So we're gonna close out um, of everything that we did. We'll just save that, and then I'm gonna come back up here to assemblies because everything we've done has been in the assembly. Um, I'm gonna come here to schedule. I'm gonna make sure that under assembly we have the Cabinet 12 uh, millimeter frameless. Um, selected and then I'm going to come to my exterior case and we're going to take a look at the top um, so we're going to double click this and so let's just kind of go through I'm going to go through and just see um, what I have here because I think there's a, a, a parameter in here uh, your goose and your distance okay here we go so this is that three quarter into the distance from the top uh, to the edge of the case so we don't want that. It's it's thinking that you know there's going to be a three quarter inch offset. So let's just zero that out. Hit next and then hit OK. Yes, I want to save my changes. And let's go back into our test job. And if we see it's the same, so let's go ahead and update. Uh, I think that we'll do it. Okay, so there we go. So we updated it. We took away that um, that three quarter inch offset there, and so now when I put in, you know, whatever height we want it, you know, that's going to be the true height of the cabinet. So, all right. So issue number two, um, our design when we put in drawers. So let's go in here and put in. Going to do a multi split. We'll do drawers, and you can see that it's giving me drawers, but if we go to the three-dimensional view, if we can increase the transparency a little here, I want these drawer stretchers uh, added in um, to kind of put some, it's a spacer between the drawers, and for some reason I was having trouble with it earlier, but it turns out we're going to return out of here. Let's go ahead and close this. I had just, I guess I didn't save it when we went through the initial assembly. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the interior case and we're going to go to drawer stretcher. And I thought I had filled all this out, but I guess I either didn't or didn't save. Um, but we're right here. We want top and mid drawer stretchers. Um, we want, in my case, I'm going to make them four inches. So that's why we weren't seeing anything. I had no depth. So it was basically zeroed out there top of the top or bottom of the stretcher doesn't really make a difference for me it's all 
the same material. It's, we usually do white. Um, it's just a, it's gonna be if you see them, you know, top or bottom. All right, so now if we hit OK, we're gonna save that. And we're gonna go back in here to the test job. And if we update it, every time you make a change, you gotta you gotta update it. If you don't know which ones to update, just click them all. Um, all right, so now if we go to 3D, probably yeah, it did. Well, put the top one in. So really, what you gotta do is you gotta clear them all out and then re put them back in. And now we should have our drawer stretchers there. Yeah. So if we see it transparent. We can see that it has now added them with the cabaneos to the bottom like we specified. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> A little something in my throat. Uh, so we... Okay, we're good there. So we've got our stretchers. And again, with like the top... Uh, let's say if this was a base cabinet, you can go in and you can say... We don't even want a top. Like when I personally build the the lower cabinets, I don't even put a, a whole top across it. We'll just do a top stretcher and that's it. So you can change that in the top menu or in the uh, interior case on the top as well. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to take a look at our clearances because what that is is when, when we have a drawer front here, we've got to tell cabinet vision, you know, like how far do we want the drawers to overlap <clears throat> the the frame of the cabinet or in this case the three quarter melamine uh, and then if we have doors you know you know the clearance is between doors so what we're going to do is we're going to return out of here so let's hit save we're going to close back out and let's go back to assembly and I think this one is in the exterior case yes because it's a reveal so what you see alright so let's take a look at the reveals okay so if you're brand new or have a brand new installed all this might be zeroed out <clears throat> so we're just gonna kind of go one by one and these you know like we did earlier these are very descriptive and you've got this little graphic here so it should be pretty easy to understand what it's asking um, so in this case, we're just going to kind of go through, I put, we're going to, I just put some numbers in that, that we use. So we're just going to, we're going to start with a half inch on, on the, the clearance, um, from the top drawer, top of the cabinet face. We'll go ahead and keep a half inch there. We'll just say a quarter inch there. Um, half inch, uh, on the edge, uh, gap between doors, uh, we're going to say a sixteenth, because uh, that's pretty typical of what we do. Um, and we'll do when you got two cabinets together, you know, you can, if you got a specific job and you're trying to get like, you're matching your clearances like you want, you know, you can, you can change this to get like a uniform clearance all the way, you know, between cabinets uh, when they're side by side. Uh, you know, this is when you have the end, uh, it's next to a filler, let's, let's keep it a half, appliance, a wall, we'll keep it a half, and then I honestly have no idea about these sliding doors, so from here on out, um, it's an enter the typical uh, top drawer front height when there is no face uh, frame on the cabinet, so like whatever that's going to be for you. You know, for the four and a half, five and a half, or six, um, and then <clears throat> the specified drawer box position. Uh, so I think if you have, uh, you know, like if you're using a jig or or you have a specific uh, distance that you want it, you know, from the bottom, you know, or overlap on the bottom, that's where you're going to set that that reveal. I'm just going to leave this on default. I honestly don't know what default, like what default is specifying. Like if you don't, you know, if you if you click this one, you have to enter a distance. Um, so I really don't know what default is. But going through our program that was set up initially by Cabinet Vision Tech, that's what it was on. And so 
that's just what I've left with, so. All right, so I'm gonna hit OK here, and then if we go, if we hit OK and we save it, we go back into our test job, and we update, which I've already have these updated uh, initially, so that's gonna give me a clearance, but if you had zeros in, all your fronts are gonna show to the edge and then when you update with your numbers, you should see the graphic pull in to those reveals. Uh, if we take a, let's put it, bring a door cabinet in. Let's just bring in an STD base. I don't know why they, STD standard. All right, so, if we take our 28 and a half inch opening, if we go to reports, when you have your doors, let's go to an increment that's more understandable. If we take our slab doors, if you add your width together, divide it by two, uh, and then compare it to the door sizes, you should have your, whatever reveals you set on either side, and then your, your, uh, your 16 inch gap in the middle, so. So yeah, so we're 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 making progress. Um, you know, I think you know I'm gonna leave this one this video here a little uh, a little shorter just because you know I think sometimes when these videos are long, there's a lot of information. It's kind of hard to get through them. It's long, um, but uh, you know, hopefully you know this this kind of helped increase your understanding. And from here, we'll move on to the next. We'll take a look at like the drawer drawer box assembly, like how to set up. Uh, all that kind of stuff so uh, apologize it takes me forever to make these videos but it is I've just been I've been so so busy and uh, I do apologize on that and so I'm trying uh, but it's tough so anyways you guys have a good uh, morning afternoon or evening depending on where you're at and I'll see you in the next video